What is going on guys? My name is Optimistic Dingo and today I'm doing another unboxing slash product review. You guys are going to be seeing the unboxing now and then later I'm going to kick it over to some gameplay with the actual product review of this headset. This is the Polk Audio Striker P1, uh, the full immersion gaming headset. Have not actually unboxed this thing yet. Um, I got it uh, while I was out of town and I've been really dying to open this thing up for you guys. So really quick what it says on the box here it's full immersion audio has a retractable microphone it says it's very lightweight which you can feel in this box as well as a uh, comfortable fit is what it says uh, it also says on the back here lightweight construction padded head uh, extendable headband retractable boom mic permanent strain relief cable uh, some uh, splitters for pc gaming um, the inline controller for the playstation 4 a dynamic balance and just all kinds of stuff uh, the specs on this look really nice I'm trying to find them on the box here I can't actually find the specs uh, but yeah so that's what it comes with when I find the specs I'll let you guys know in the actual product review so let's go ahead and unbox this bad boy I kind of went ahead and cut open here but I haven't actually looked at it now this one is blue I believe um, they come in a variety of colors but this one's like blue and creamish sort of I believe that's what they told me they were gonna send and uh, something just fell out which is the uh, like inline cables and stuff so we're gonna open that first here so we have the this splitter cable for PC as well as this 1.5 millimeter so this is a 1.22 millimeter splitter like you can see here like that for PC and uh, then there's another one that's a little bit bigger, it looks like, for PC. Uh, and that actually, you know what, I believe this is actually linked. These look like they're the same size. Yeah, so these are just uh, two different lengths. This is uh, 1.22 meters, and uh, this is 0.15 meters. So it just kind of depends on what size you need. And then this is the actual headset. It's got some uh, weird little twist tie things here. I'm going to go ahead and I'll uh, get this out of the box and then I'll cut back when it's actually out of the box here. All right, guys, so I have the headset here. It's actually got some kind of weird funkiness to it. And this thing, this thing looks freaking cool. It's kind of weird. It's kind of weird, honestly, but put it on my head here. It feels really nice. I mean, it is comfortable. Uh, it just kind of fits on there. These pads are really squishy. Um, the ear cups look nice. It's, you know, pretty movable. The mic, I haven't um, really tested that out yet, but it does come out. So if you're wanting to talk, you can be like this or push it back in. Uh, this isn't like an actual Dolby uh, stereo headset or surround sound headset, though. It's just like amplified stereo. Uh, so it's not, you know, um, it's not something to compare like to what I currently use, which is a Triton headset this the Triton uh, 720 plus uh, but you know this seems like it's gonna be a pretty good headset um, there's a lot of uh, times where I am gonna actually be using this instead of the Triton uh, in the future okay so now I have to find out how to get this PlayStation 4 inline thing out so this is the PS4 uh, customized inline type thing uh, basically what it does it looks like is it has like an audio thing uh, so you plug this in here set it just into your controller then you plug this into your controller and it allows you to control the volume and the um, mute for your microphone so that's pretty cool overall I mean this looks like a pretty solid headset uh, it's pretty comfortable I'm actually gonna go play some Batman Arkham Knight with this thing on and see what I you know think about the actual quality and then I'm going to test it out with some Call of Duty, do some uh, testing as, uh, like, does it help you hear footsteps and things like that. Um, and I'm not going to test it against my Triton uh, 720 Plus because it just isn't a, um, a fair comparison. My Tritons are about, like, a $150 to $200 headset, and this is, like, a $90 headset. So this is a lower-end headset, but personally, you know, it feels like a pretty quality build and, like, it's actually a nice headset. This headset is made for the PS4, PC, and Wii U. I don't think it works with the Xbox One because of this. It doesn't have their proprietary port. However, uh, if they come out with the 3.5 millimeter jack like they're supposed to, like they announced at uh, E3, which I so I think when they come out with the one with the proprietary without the proprietary with just 3.5 millimeter, 
this should work, uh, but they do make an Xbox One uh, headset. It's the uh, Striker ZX, and I believe it's the same thing as this, except for it just has the proprietary port. So, anyways, let's go ahead and get into the actual product review for you guys. All right, guys, so now we're going to be getting into the actual product review of the Striker P1 headset from Polk Audio. So I've been had I've had a couple of days to test this headset, and I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on whether or not you should buy it. So first off, I want to talk about the build. Is it a comfortable headset? In the unboxing, I talked a little bit about this, but after like hours and hours and hours of wearing this headset, it's very comfortable. The ear pads don't actually like hurt your ears. I know a lot of headsets, like they have these like pressure points right here on the side of your ears. These do not really have that issue for me. Very comfortable. And it does a nice job, these ear cuffs do a nice job of canceling sound as well. Also these like three pads here, they were uh, like a big thing on the box, but these three pads you can see right here, they are what like cushions the top of your head. They do a pretty good job. Sometimes I felt a little bit of pressure on there, but it was when the headset was like kind of positioned funny, like when I was wearing my glasses or something like that. So I think it was just because of that. But this, honestly, overall, the comfort of the headset, I would give the comfort like a five out of five. It's a really nice feeling headset, really comfortable. And um, yeah, that's that's it for comfort. It is very comfortable. Now I have a smaller head, but if you have a larger head, you can obviously extend that down. I don't know how comfortable that is with them extended down. I don't have anybody that I know that has like a super huge head that could have uh, tested that for me. But anyways, that's that. The next thing is mic quality a lot of headsets have really cheap microphones this microphone is not like super expensive it's not super high quality but it's a decent microphone for a chat mic and it, it, it does perfect for that and i love the fact that it is retractable and the fact that like it's got this nice little plastic coating i don't know if you can see that but it's got a nice little plastic coating around the metal part and it bends and moves and stuff but honestly i find that if it's just straight out it works fine but if you're one of those guys that likes it to be right in your face you can obviously do that but i love the fact that this is retractable because this thing can also work as a good music hearing headset and since it cancels noise pretty well the music reproduction is very good on this headset nine times out of ten i actually prefer using this more for music than gaming and that's it's it's kind of weird that this is a gaming headset, but Polk Audio has a very, very, very nice music sound. I have several people that I know that have actually done their car stereos and their home theaters through Polk Audio, and it's always like this amazing crisp sound that comes from Polk. Like these headsets really do a good job to like keep the Polk brand good. Like the music reproduction on this is very good. So like I was expecting a lot out of the music aspect of it, but I was not really expecting the gaming aspect of the headset to be very good. I wasn't expecting Polk to do a super good job with the gaming part of the headset. I didn't think that they knew how to mix for gaming. While I do think that this sounds really good for music and that it can work for gaming and music, I think this sounds amazing too with video games. The, it has just the right amount of bass so that you can hear those footsteps and hear those exo jumps in Advanced Warfare. It also, like, it does really good with story mode game modes. I was using this while I was playing Batman Arkham Knight. The voices are clear. Everything is just nice. It's got the perfect balance of mids, lows, and highs, and it has the perfect balance of that for video games and for music. So it, it's a multi purpose headset. Not only is this a multi-platform headset, this will work with your PlayStation 4, your Wii U, and your PC. This is also going to work, you know, for multi-purposes. You can use it to listen to music, and you can do it uh, to listen and play video games with, too. There's not very many downsides about this headset, which is a good thing. But there is one negative attribute that I have found, and that is the fact that since the headset plugs into the bottom of your controller, you cannot record game audio through your Elgato while using this headset. So if you are a YouTube content creator, this is not a headset that you can use while recording gameplay because you're not going to have any audio. In fact, there was actually a video I posted to the channel a couple days ago on my personal channel. You're going to see this video on both Set to Destroy X's channel and, Pol or, and my channel, but there was a video that I posted that did not have any gameplay audio and that was actually recorded while using this headset before I knew that 
and that's the only downside. Everything else about this headset works amazing. This inline right here is a really nice thing to have for PS4 users, and it's gonna do a lot for PC, but everything is just easy to use. Like, literally, it comes in the box like this. With this thing, you just plug this in, plug in your controller, and there's just one setting that you have to have on the PlayStation, which I'm gonna show you now in a video to show you guys how to set this up on your PlayStation. All right, you guys, so I'm at the menu of my PlayStation 4 here, and I'm gonna show you guys what you need to do to set up your Striker P1 headset on the PlayStation 4. Now, once you plug it into the very bottom of your controller, you're gonna need to go to the quick menu by holding down the PlayStation button, press adjust sound and devices. Then what you're gonna do is press output to headphones and put all audio. As soon as you do that, you're gonna be able to hear everything through the Striker P1, and you're gonna be able to uh, adjust the volume here if it's too loud and you can also do that from your inline as well so that's how you set it up it's super easy to use and let's get back into the product review so now that you guys know how to set this up on your playstation to make it work i'm not quite sure how to set it up on pc um, because i don't use a pc and i'm not quite sure how to do that on wii u but that's all in the manual as well now I want to share you guys something really amazing that has been brought to me by Set to Destroy X. First off, I want to go ahead and thank Set to Destroy X so much. I wouldn't be able to even review this headset if it wasn't for Set to Destroy X. So Charlie, all the people at Set to Destroy X, thank you so much. And also to the people at Polk Audio, I want to go ahead and thank you guys too. Polk Audio actually reached out to Set to Destroy X. They love what Set to Destroy X does. We're an esports organization that is like quality over quantity basically we try to post the highest quality content that we can and polk audio saw that and wanted us to review their product because they know that we do good reviews they saw like our glom tom review and things like that and they know that we do good reviews so on behalf of set to destroy x and polk audio i'm actually going to be giving away another striker p1 headset so you guys are actually going to be able to enter a giveaway to win a striker p1 headset from set to destroy x and polk audio so all the credentials and like stuff that you're going to need is going to be down in the description but, but i encourage you to check out set to destroy x on youtube their YouTube is going to be down in the description. Also, check them out on MLG. We stream like every single day starting at 8 p.m. And that's uh, on MLG.tv slash set to destroy X. Also, follow them on Twitter at set to destroy X as well as check us out at set to destroy X.com. And you can also buy this headset for $90 on the Polk Audio website. I believe that is polkaudio.com. And you guys are going to be able to pick this up. I'm going to have a link down in the description below. If there's any kind of discount code or anything like that, I'll put that in the description below as well. So go down to the description, enter this giveaway, and be sure to comment down below. A big thank you to the Set to Destroy X and Polk Audio people. Tweet at Set to Destroy X and tell them thank you for this giveaway. Tweet at Polk Audio and tell them thank you for this giveaway. This is something that I never thought I'd be able to do. Give away a product that is like this. You know, I just did the beta key giveaway on my channel. That something that I thought was really cool but that's nothing compared to giving away a $90 headset to one of you guys for free anyways guys that's it for this video I hope you guys have enjoyed and I hope you guys uh, you know enjoyed this review and I hope a lot of you consider buying this headset if you're a casual gamer looking for a headset on a budget this is the headset for you it's perfect and the, if you're not looking to record YouTube videos it's great now the version that's giving away is this exact headset. It's the, you know, exactly like the Striker P1. If you guys don't have a PS4, you can still use it on your PC. I guarantee you, you're going to find some use out of it. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one. Dingo out.